metabolic alkalosis and vomiting is because a person is vomiting out gastric acid. Yeah, gastric acid is not a component of the blood. Do you understand this? And the gastric acid secretion is not to that extent to cause metabolic alkalosis. So tell me what is the reason for metabolic alkalosis because of dehydration. Dehydration causes secondary hyperaldosteronism. So can you all tell me how does dehydration cause secondary hyperaldosteronism? When you warm it out, when there is dehydration, afferent arteriolar pressure decreases, JG apparatus gets activated, releases renin, renin produces angiotensin 2, angiotensin 2 produces aldosterone. What does aldosterone cause? Sodium and water reabsorption. Reciprocally, it causes potassium and H plus secretion. And that causes hypokalemia and metabolic alkalosis. So, can you tell me what are, this is new, right? I am very happy that all of you are understanding it. Good Vivek and good uh, Kavya. So, tell me what are the electrolyte abnormalities that you see in severe vomiting? It is number one, hypochloremia. Number 2, hypokalemia. Number 3, metabolic alkalosis. So, A, B and C are the three right answers. So, yes, that is why paradoxical aciduria. Very good. Good observation. So, try answering this. Before you start answering, a 60-year-old diabetic patient presented with repeated vomiting following a recent dine-out. Okay. So, repeated vomiting, the person vomits out acid. So, what do you expect? You expect metabolic alkalosis. Just now I told you, right? The person vomits out acid. Additionally, there is secondary hyperaldosteronism. So, vomiting causes metabolic alkalosis. Following a recent dine-out and the person is a diabetic individual. So, whenever a diabetic individual is uh, stressed, there can be diabetic ketoacidosis. And this diabetic ketoacidosis will cause metabolic acidosis. So this person can present with either metabolic acidosis because of diabetic ketoacidosis or the person can present with metabolic alkalosis because of vomiting or it can be a combination of both. Okay, let's try to find out what is this patient actually suffering from based on the values that you see. Her blood pressure was 90-60. So, it is dehydration component. pH was 7.3. So, 7.36 is the lower limit. So, what is it? Acidosis. And bicarbonate is 18 milli equivalents per liter. Normal bicarbonate is 21 to 27. In this case, bicarbonate is low. So, what will you call it as? Metabolic acidosis. So, tell me the acid-base disorder, all of you. The acid-base disorder that you see is metabolic acidosis. Yes, Angali. Based on the history that it is either A or B. But based on value, what do you see? That is frank acidosis. And that is low bicarbonate. So, it has to be metabolic acidosis. Okay. So, the person is suffering from diabetic ketoacidosis. A 7-week-old boy was brought by the mother with complaints of repeated projectile vomiting and pellet stools. So, you already know repeated vomiting. What will you see? The probable metabolic disturbances. Does vomiting cause metabolic acidosis? No. What does vomiting cause? Metabolic alkalosis. It is not respiratory acidosis. And in metabolic alkalosis, will it be hypochloremic or hyperchloremic? It is going to be hypochloremic, very good all of you, hypochloremic, hypokalemic, metabolic alkalosis. Mm -hmm.